Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this tutorial is the last one in level 3 and it's going to deal with lighting and rendering and by this point if you've gone through all the tutorials you've learned how to build a model and add materials, make custom materials map the materials so they uh, look correct on your objects and with all of that done the last thing to do is render it out to an image so that you can make a presentation of your 3D object or scene or whatever it is you have. Now the previous tutorial showed you how to draw this building and now this one is going to show you how to add some lights and then render the scene. So to get started if I just do a render you'll see the render window come up and it looks pretty plain it's just a quick basic rendering you can see it still looks a little rough I'm just doing a uh, low resolution render and uh, from there we're gonna start making it look a little bit better each time so we're gonna show you a few things to do with that so the first thing I want to do is add a background now if I just type in background and you'll see that currently there's none and that's evident by this plain gray sky in the background but I'm just going to add an image and we'll uh, going to put in some sky and press OK and there I have a sky so now if I do a render you'll see the image come up again with the sky in the background so already we're looking you know a little bit more realistic obviously this can be tweaked and looked at differently and another way of adding a background is to use my view manager and I created a view a while ago called perspective or I just shortened it down to PERS and now I can also use uh, the same method to add an image and let me find my sky again down here there it is and I'm going to adjust it. I'm just going to go to stretch so it stretches across and basically scales to fit the window. And what I need to do is make sure that I do set this to be current. And press OK. So there's my sky again. And now when I render, we'll see the sky come up. And it looks a little different than the previous one. and that's because I chose the stretch option. So I'm just going to minimize this. And uh, something else I'm just going to show you is you can set your sun properties. Right now the sun status is off. You can obviously you can see right there sun status is itself a command. And by clicking it again it'll ask you to I'm just going to keep my exposure settings and now you'll see the sun is on see how it's highlighted as blue so that's how you know the sun is on or off so I've turned it off again and the next thing we're, we're gonna do is add a slightly different background now Cause what I'm gonna do is start adding lights and I want these lights to show up so I'm gonna try and make the scene a little bit more nighttime so I'm gonna go back into my view and instead of an image I'm gonna to go to gradient and I'm gonna choose a three color and this allows you to pick various colors uh, pretty much anything you can imagine I'm gonna go from a twilight blue down to a darker blue and then down finally to a black and this will give me a nice twilight gradient like it's uh, starting to get really dark out set current apply and you can see right in the preview how it's gonna look so you can see it's taking on a different tone already so now if I render this you can see I've got the same nice twilight background instead of the sky but it still looks like there's a, a lot of light in the scene so what I need to do to change that 
is change my default lighting and I'm going to change it uh, right now it's set at about 8 and I find this a little counterintuitive but the higher the number for your default lighting the darker it becomes so now it doesn't look like anything's changed but I'm going to do another render and now you'll see that it's looking uh, more like a dusk and uh, near nighttime type setting so now I'm ready to start adding lights and they'll show up nicely so what I'm going to do is go to my lights create light and I'm going to add a spotlight and that spotlight is going to go over the doorway here so I've clicked to place it right there and I'm going to have it point straight down and then just press enter to accept the defaults so now if I click on it, you can see there's a cone and this shows approximately where it's going so I'm going to drag this down so that it's going to light up this area down below the next thing I want to do is right click and go to properties so let me bring this in and you'll see I've got a lot of options that one I want to look at right now is the intensity factor because uh, actually let me just uh, show you what happens if I render this with the intensity factor set to one you'll see that you can't really even see that I've added a light there but I want to make sure this lights visible so I'm, once again I'm going to select the light change my intensity factor to 100 and this is the beauty of working with renderings and lights is trying a lot of different settings trying to get it to look nice and natural so now when I do a render this light is going to appear much more visible so you can see how it's lighting up the front of the building very nicely and uh, looks quite natural so once again just uh, make sure you got your properties one other thing you can change it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference in these basic renderings but if you go to inverse square that's kind of a more natural type of lighting uh, following the physical laws of lighting so there's my spotlight and uh, my scene is almost coming together but I want to add one more light and this is going to be a point light which is like a light bulb and I'm just going to place it right in the middle of this room I'm just drawing a line from midpoint to midpoint and I'm going to go back to lights create light and point light and put it on this midpoint right here press uh, enter to accept the defaults and it looks like it's a little off so I'm just going to move it with my grip edit and I'm going to zoom back a little so once again I want to right click go to my properties for this light and I'm going to put the intensity at 100 as well close that and do another render and now you can see I've got a light shining in this room here so it's starting to come together you can see how you can do all kinds of lights I could put yard lights in a street light and just endless how carried away and how detailed you want to get with it so the last thing I'm just going to show you is my render settings and I'm going to now go to what they call a lunch quality it says it's going to render for 60 minutes but it's not going to because this is a fairly simple drawing right here so let's do another render and see what the difference is between the two and it's going to take a little bit longer so I'm going to cut some of that time out here um, in the video and save you staring at a render window for a while so I'm just gonna hit pause
Okay, and we're back at uh, this rendering, and I'm just going to bring it in a little closer so you can see it. And this one's taking a little longer than I thought. It might be the extra lights and shadows uh, that I've had set. But even though it's been going for 10 minutes, I'm just going to compare it to the last one I did at a low setting. And you can see right away how much rougher the light is here compared to how smooth the gradient is and the fall off on the lunch quality setting versus the medium setting. So just look at those two back and forth. So I'm just going to finish up here and just say that rendering's fun, it's challenging, and just do your best. Just keep trying different things, try different lights, try different colors of lights, intensities of lights. Um, do lots of low and medium quality renderings to try things out, see how it looks, different backgrounds. Uh, you can take a picture of your neighborhood and render a model of your house in that neighborhood. There's so much you can do, so have fun with it, play around, and thanks for watching. This has been my CAD site, uh, level 3, tutorial 3-17, and you can get a complete free AutoCAD course at www.mycadsite.com. No registration required. And again, thanks for watching.